everyone, my name is Billy from Piano and Pies, and this is the tutorial for Lifetimes. Let's get stuck straight in. Three chords are what we need to get through this song, and the first chord we need is a G minor chord. The way we're going to play it, like they do on the track, is D, G, and a B flat being the highest note. So that's what we call a G minor chord. And we've got a G note in the bass, which is going to be your left hand. We'll talk through the chords first, then we'll talk about how to play it afterwards. So next we have a D minor seven chord. The way we're going to play it is a D in the left hand with F, A and C in the right hand. And the final chord we need for this is a C major chord, which is a C in the left hand, E, G with a C at the top. We're going to use those inversions um, as in those order of notes rather than let's say C down here, which you may be familiar with, because that's closest and what is resembled on the track. So it's G minor, D minor seven, and then C major. That's the order. Now in terms of playing them, there's always a left hand note followed by a chord. And the G minor sounds like this. So you can always see I'm playing left and then right. One, two, three, four. And then I then repeat that for the G. So the G gets two lots of that pattern. And then go up to the D, and then the C. So slow you to play through that without me talking in between. We have. Now those three chords will get you through the entire song. However, we can mix things up because in the verse, uh, when things go a lot quiet, things change. In fact, there's not a huge amount of piano in the verse, but what we can do instead is sustain the chords like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can sustain it to provide a little bit of difference and to mix things up a little bit to make the song sound interesting. You may have noticed when I was playing through that, my right hand played the exact same thing as I did in the previous section, but my left hand was playing what we call octaves. Basically, when you play the G note, you'll use your little finger to go down to the next G and play that together. So G in the left hand, then I had D octaves, and then C octaves. Makes it sound a little bit more powerful and a little bit more full of sound. And really I could talk about the structure for this, uh, which I do have over on Patreon, but largely it's just the same thing over and over. However, if you do want the chord chart with the chords and the lyrics matched up, so you wanna make sure that you maybe sing and play along at the exact same time, then head on over to Patreon. There is a link to that in the description and you can get everything you write out professionally and it's only a couple of dollars and it gets you access to over 300 other songs as well as Katy Perry's other recent release. Uh, so yeah, check that out. Well, that's just about everything. So thank you very much for watching. Quite a short video, nice and easy to, to play this song. So thanks for uh, your support. Thanks to everyone on the screen. Those are my active patrons. So the moment this video goes live, um, they will get that content over on Patreon straight away to play along with the song. So thanks to them, thanks to you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.